Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this stage. Uh, I have a short presentation. I would like to show you uh, a new way of thinking. So the world's first climate positive energy carrier. And uh, I call this a fuel. So uh, I'm Frank Hobers, I'm the founder of the company, and we are located uh, in Austria and Germany. This unique building here is our headquarter in Germany, uh, and has a unique uh, history. In the midst of the 1960s, this was the center of the world, only for the automotive industry, but uh, it was. And so we are working also for John, <laughs> uh, bringing uh, electrified solutions also to the average people on Earth. And we showed with this car uh, the first uh, car worldwide who is able to have a positive impact on the climate. And we showed this uh, also to Mr. Uh, Gerd Müller, the new Secretary General Secretary of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization. And we have a lot of support from him. We are also proud that uh, the government in uh, Germany uh, supported us and ordered already 10 of these cars uh, to promote also the technology inside Europe and Brussels. Yeah, and this will start uh, beginning of next year. And why we are doing this? It is uh, unbelievable that uh, we as humankind uh, released uh, during the last mostly six, 17 years, 70 years, such an amount of uh, fossil carbon in the air that this uh, equivalent would be a mountain of uh, carbon of around 7,000 meters. And that's really impressive. That gives you a, uh, an impression how deep has to be a hole to get all of this stuff uh, rid of. Compared to this beautiful mountain, the mountain Fuji, it's, it's really uh, a tough stuff. And it's only about carbon is the one important information. And the second one is we have to remove this all. And why we have to remove it, uh, this slide is showing, or well, is looking back 800,000 years. And since uh, this time, uh, humankind is on, on this planet, and we had never ever the possibility to destroy our uh, Earth. But we are the first generation, we, we, we are doing this. So from around uh, the 50s, uh, in the last century, we increased our CO2 emissions uh, from 300 ppm to 421. And it rises up uh, like hell. And the good news in this uh, picture is, if we do have a technology to reduce the amount of carbon, the fossil carbon, also the CO2 in the air, we can get rid of this problem. And here is shown, yes, there is an opportunity to reduce it as fast as we have released it. And I'll show you on the next slides how does it work. Yeah. And one of the important information is Paris Agreement is by far, really by far not enough. And is sometimes, in my opinion, also blocking our minds uh, for the real targets we have to achieve. And uh, yeah, the second uh, thing is we have already technology available to reverse this climate problem. So how does it work? And let's have a look on the right-hand side uh, of this picture. We are here in Abu Dhabi, so in, in the desert. And when you look here, it is clear that only renewable energy is able 
to bring us forward in, uh, in this matter. But renewable energy out of a power plant uh, like photovoltaic is not transportable. This is a big problem. It's not, uh, yeah, to create a liquefied thing uh, and, and becoming a transportable, storable solution, we have to split water to hydrogen, so creating green hydrogen, combining it with uh, CO2 out of the atmosphere, it's important, and then it creates methanol. I call this A methanol because it's 100% pure out of the atmosphere. And now, if you look at the, well, at the picture, so this methanol will become the next global energy carrier for all of us. And this is important because we have to reduce the fossil content uh, we are using. And combining now this A methanol with the active C sink, this creates we call this A fuel, so the atmospheric fuel. And the C-sync is an active uh, process, so some of the energy coming out of the photovoltaic will be used to split the carbon dioxide into carbon and oxygen, and the carbon, uh, black coal, has to get back under the ground, and therefore I show this here in the reverse mountain going down under the ground. And the important information is that from the perspective of GDP, only 3% of the GDP is necessary to create this new global energy carrier and only 3% of GDP is necessary to get rid of the old problems. And the reason is the basic uh, energy is so cheap. This is so. We have to spread out this information, and I'm lucky to be here, to all the people on Earth, to know them, to green funds to support us, because it's really a big thing to the politicians, to regulate us, to implement also this knowledge, and companies to realize this. So, I'm really proud about being a part of this biggest transaction worldwide, also in human history. So, be proud too. So, let's realize this as fast as possible, also in this area, in this region here. This is perfect also here in Abu Dhabi. Yes, it's also perfect in Egypt, in Namibia, Chile, Australia. And that's the new good information. There are a lot of other countries available to support the new global energy carrier. Yeah. And this is, for this region, even important because this technology is not for the next 10 years. It's for centuries, for 200, 300,000 years from now on. And uh, that's the beauty of this technology. So to create a real great future for humankind. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, just a quick question. I mean, this sounds wonderful in theory. Um, politicians, of course, always have uh, a very short um, time span because of the electoral cycle in, democra in democracies. What's your time span on this? Oh, I'm, I'm I mean, you've got something which will last for centuries, but uh, what's your time timetable? I have already a good information. I have signed a letter of intent for the Emirates that such a plant would be installed until 2027 and a large plant until 2030. So it's still some years to go, but these buildings or these plants are huge. Uh, but we have to think 
uh, until 2050 and then beyond. Yeah. What is coming in 2100? Uh, I think this, this is the, the, the target of this presentation. Well, I think we have